we yep. go. Welcome, everyone. We are glad you are with us. We are so excited to be closing out the worship week, getting ready for the fourth Sunday of Advent, the fourth week <laughs> of Advent, and um, moving into the last few days before the Christmas tide. So we are, and it is a tide. So we are so happy to have you here this evening. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe, hit the notifications button, show, hit the, hit, you know, strike the, strike the bell and ring it and join us as we continue to move through this journey. So what are you guys having for dinner tonight? I'm having pork chops. Amy's ha uh, we're both having pork chops. We're having, and she's having the leftover spaghetti uh, and spaghetti sauce. And I'm having veggies with mine. Nice. Mm -hmm. A little different. And what are you guys having, Laura? Lentil soup, bacon and potatoes and all good veggies. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm excited because um, Laura is making me some mashed potatoes and we are having sort of a leftovers night. So she's having leftover Chinese, which she's excited about. I'm having leftover lamb stew, which I'm excited about. So lamb stew over mashed potatoes with homegrown carrots. Oh, my grandmother made great lamb stew. This, she, Laura made an amazing one. It was it was red wine based and um, well, I can't have it any just other, right anywhere else now. Yeah. So, and the other thing is, you know, we 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 bought a leg of lamb at Costco, so we've we basically, I think we've cut it like five different ways because I had uh, lamb birria um, with my colleague group, and then we have uh, had the lamb stew. And uh, now we're getting fired up and getting ready for uh, for this redux, and then we have enough probably for a, a lamb curry. Mm. So, okay, let's see if I can get us up and running. Where is there? We are, and someone's on. Even better. Stick with us, folks. We're glad you're here. So uh, I'm a big fan of William Blake's illustrations, and uh, this one is of his Last Judgment because we are in the book of Revelation this month. And uh, I thought that would be a nice little touch. Um, just just his, his, his ink drawings are just amazing. So glad to share that with you. Thine is the day, O God, thine also the night. Thou hast established the moon and the sun. Thou hast fixed all the boundaries of the earth. Thou hast made summer and winter. And boy, did you make winter yesterday. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 59 and 60. I'll offer the odd, you guys will respond with it even. Deliver me from my enemies, O oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me, Deliver from, me those from those who are evil. From, from the bloodthirsty, save me. Even now they lie in wait for my life. 
the mighty stir up strife against me, for no transgression or sin of mine, O Lord. For no fault of mine, run and make ready. And make ready. Rouse yourself, come to my help and see. You, Lord God of hosts, are God of Israel. Awake to punish all the nations, spare none of those who treacherously plot evil. Each evening they come back, howling like dogs and prowling about the city. There they are, bellowing with their mouths, with sharp words on their lips, for who they think will hear us. But you laugh at them, O Lord, you hold all the nations in derision. O my strength, I will watch for you. For, for you, you, O God, God are, my are my fortress. My God in his steadfast love will meet me. My God will let me look in triumph at my enemy on my enemies. Do not kill, them, kill or them, or my people, or my people may, forget. may forget. Make them Make totter, them totter by, by their power, power and bring, bring them, them down. down. O Lord, o Lord our, our shield. shield. For the sin of their mouths, the words of their lips, let them be trapped in their pride. For the cursing and lies that they utter, Consume, consume them in the wrath, wrath, consume them until they, them are, until no they are no more. Then it will be known to the ends of the earth that God rules over Jacob. Each evening, evening they come they back, back howling like dogs, howling about, 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 the about the city. They roam about for food and growl if they do not get their fill. And I will sing with your might. I will sing aloud your steadfast love in the morning. For you have been a fortress for me and a refuge in the day of my distress. O oh, oh, my, my strength, strength, I will sing I will praises, praises to you, you. for you, O oh God, God, are my fortress, the, the God who shows me steadfast love. love. O oh God, you have rejected us, broken our defenses. You have been angry. Now restore us. You, you have, have caused, caused the land to quake, quake. You, have you have torn it open, it open. repair the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people suffer hard things. You have given us wine to drink that made us real. You have you set up a banner, a banner for those who fear you, you to rally it out. out of both both Give victory with your right hand and answer us, so that those whom you love may be rescued. God has promised, God has promised to the sanctuary, sanctuary exaltation, I will, I will divide, divide up Shechem, Shechem and portion, and portion out the veil of Sukkah. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah is my scepter. Moab is Moab my wash basin. On, on Edom I hurl my shoe. Over, Over Philistia, Philistia I shout in triumph. triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you, you not rejected us, us of God? God? You do, do not, not go, go out, out O oh God, God, with, with our, our enemies. enemies. Armies. Oh, grant us help against the foe, for human help is worthless. With, with God, God we shall do valiantly. valiantly. It, it is he who will tread down, down our, foes. our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Revelation of John. And whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who is seated on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall before the one who is seated on the throne and worship the one who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne singing, you are worthy, O our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne, a, seated on the throne, a scroll written on the inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who was worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep bitterly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. Then one of the elders said to me, do not weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening, the Song of Mary. Together, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. 
He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Reading from Matthew. In those days, John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness of Judea, proclaiming, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the one whom the prophet Isaiah spoke when he said, The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Now John wore clothing of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then the people of Jerusalem and all of Judea were going out to him in all the region along the Jordan, and they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and will gather his wheat into the granary, but the chaff will be burned with unquenchable fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this evening, the Song of Simeon. Together, Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat thee, O Lord. Thee, o Lord. That thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat we thee, o Lord. o Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat thee, we entreat o, Lord. o Lord. That there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world. We entreat, we entreat thee, o Lord. o Lord. That we may depart this life in thy faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Peter, our patron, and all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. Because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us 
through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may, we may know thee as thou art revealed in scripture in the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of thy love. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship thee. All nations obey thee. All tongues confess and bless thee, and men and women everywhere love thee and serve thee in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We've been asked to pray for the repose of the soul of Elizabeth Houston and recovery for Robert. Both had COVID. We give thanks for those who were able to lend aid to those who were in distress or need today. And we pray for all those who are still feeling extreme need or anxiety in the face of the weather, the pandemic, or their situation in life. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and hast promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, guys, we close the worship week together, and I'm so thankful for that. Thank you, and enjoy the soup and the pork chops. And uh, may your eventide be warm and not outside. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, thank you for joining us on Facebook, and uh, please feel free to invite others to join you with a watch party. We always love to have that. We will see you at 10 a.m. on Sunday for the fourth Sunday of Advent, and then we will go through until um, the 23rd on our daily office. We will not have uh, the daily office on Christmas Eve or on Christmas Day. However, we uh, and we're also going to take a week off, and we'll be back in January. I realize, wow, there you go. But we'll swing back into we'll swing back into form again. So thank you so much. Like and subscribe on YouTube throw the thumbs up, share it with your friends, mash that uh, bell button so that you get notifications when we put up a new video, which we do quite a bit, and uh, we will see you soon. Take care and God bless. And don't forget to check out our virtual Jesse Tree videos. Bye-bye.